What are you up to? Well, we've got a big camera. We've some running. Apparently, Jim has decided that we're going to go to Elephant and Castle and back. He's got a stick out. You were aiming for me as well, though, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Camera's everywhere at the moment, isn't it? Everywhere. Surrey's personnel change a lot during the tournament. So if you look at the first half before the break, Tom Curran and Sean Abbott in particular were outstanding in the middle overs. Then Clark basically had to substitute in for those guys from a role perspective. Hopefully we can put on a show tonight for a full house. Depending on where you are from me. And all the way. Nick over the keeper to the onside man underneath it, Jamie Overton takes it. Big hands, big man, very, very safe. Matt Dunn picks up his second. Basically, the, the, the tactic is aim for the stumps and change speed. Be aware of where batters are looking to target and adapt accordingly. And Clark did that brilliantly, because if you think of Tom Curran and Sean Abbott, these are two of the most in-demand all-rounders going in the T20 world. Ball in! Jaffa! Jordan Clark! Oh, ball in! There we go again, Jordan Clark using his skill. What you'd say about Clark is it's incredibly impressive to adapt to a new role. Um, a lot of guys, a lot of the best T20 players in the world, only do the same role wherever they go. And he's gone! Couldn't get enough of it! Early movement, Jax goes aerial. Well, at 27 for three, chasing 184, you're going to lose 80% of your matches. 27 for three in the power play, you've got to have a little bit of a consolidation. Um, thought we played the spin really well, and um, yeah, we just, I just found if we kept it 10 and over, that would be a working with a shout. Bit of wit, Curran throws his hands at it. What a shot. There you go. For six. But I knew at the oval, if you get yourself in, the, the ball travels really nicely. It was a really good pitch. What they did really well was they managed to consolidate, but consolidate in a way that meant that the required run rate never spiralled out of control. Sure, they were behind it, but it never got to more than 11. Um, yeah, thankfully it was a no goal and crack on.
Curran and Overton manage the situation really well. So you've got one relatively short boundary, one relatively long boundary. Curran is a left-hander, Jamie Overton is a right-hander, which means if you manage it well, one of them always has the short leg side boundary to target. About this time, Paul Moore. Clears the man, beautiful shot. Again. Curran goes big again, targeting the short leg side boundary. Into the onside, six ball. Surrey are getting this done here. To make sure the right guy was on strike for that particular end. And we saw that in a two over period, they managed to strike perfectly. They got 17 from each of those overs. So then the required run rate went from 11.8 to 8. This is it harder. Strike to the mound, good catch. Tom pressed. One bounce for. Curran, it was, it was totally extraordinary innings actually to control the entire game, very different situations. Um, it's very impressive to risk free stay in a run chase of 180, and he managed to do that. Single figures now to win. He's managed to hold it back, and he's dropped past the line for six. He will not be denied. Does it mean anything? Samuel Curran, you promised us something special from the moment you walked through the Edridge Gates. Well done, Sam. It took me a long time to get my first first class 100, so it took me a long time for the, for the T20, but uh, most importantly, we've got that home quarter final.